that's all recording if you want to go ahead. Thanks, Jackie. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Kim. Uh, kia ora koutou. Um, my name is Jackie and uh, my lightning talk is focused on reproducible reports using R and R Markdown. Um, I thought it would be useful to give a little uh, intro into my path to where I am today. Um, I've uh, studied as a sports scientist and uh, researcher. Uh, spent time working as a researcher in academic settings and then more recently in the last few years have taken on more um, industry type roles in performance sport and uh, some of what I've been reflecting on recently is uh, what different lessons there are to be learned from that kind of transition. When I was working in academia a lot of my projects looked a bit like this they look like a lot of information a lot of knowledge a lot of useful insights but stored in a haphazard way that makes sense to me, but probably not to anyone else. Uh, this generally works okay for academic projects that are bounded, where you see the project through from start to finish and you produce your paper or your presentation or your outputs at the end of it, um, but no one has to see the messy closet where you stuff all of your books. Coming into uh, in industry roles, it's more, I found it more common to join projects midstream, uh, to not have um, insight necessarily to the origin of a project or the original purpose of a project and original motivators. Um, and I've really appreciated being able to uh, onboard into projects that look a bit more like a library where there is organized knowledge, there's a system, a logic to how that uh, information is organized. And by learning the system, you can then access what you need to and when you need to. So that's my general uh, mental model for thinking about reproducibility in uh, working with data projects with R. So what makes a report reproducible? Uh, the Carpentries have a, um, a useful uh, set of lessons about reproducibility um, using R and they uh, identify four facets. Documentation of um, process, documentation of code, um, upfront documentation about the purpose of a project and its intended outcomes. Um, organization of files related to a project, automating processes and disseminating outputs. And the cool thing is that R Markdown is uh, pretty adept at all four of these facets of re reproducibility. So I thought I'd share a few that I like uh, to use. So um, the great thing about R Markdown is that it integrates multiple languages uh, within a singular file. So in this screenshot, we have YAML uh, code at the top to define the metadata of the, um, of the file. In the light gray backgrounds in my theme, I have uh, R code chunks. And then in between, this is Markdown. So we have three different languages in one file, and that allows you to not only code up uh, analytical tasks, but describe those analytical tasks in the same file. The other useful part of this is that you can uh, adapt your documentation for different audiences. So I work in a team of four researchers and um, I can take a, uh, an R Markdown file that I've generated to point towards a, a target audience like um, the board or uh, people on our executive team. And I can take the same file, modify it and echo the code chunks. So that's show the code so that I show my working out to my, my fellow uh, analysts and researchers. And that pro provides a documented version of the report that has more of the technical detail that the analysts and researchers are interested in. R Markdown is also great for organizing um, different files. So particularly when an R Markdown file becomes quite long, it can be useful to uh, take the code chunks and store them in distinct um, R scripts. Then you can source those R scripts back into the R Markdown file and uh, get a level of abstraction with how you're organizing your code and your, um, your R Markdown um, co uh, compilation process. And to do that is really simple. So here I've taken a code chunk, I've saved it to an R script called plot penguins, and then inside an R Markdown file, I can source, I can use this command source to point to that script and it will run the script from top to bottom. R Markdown is also used uh, to automate processes. I myself haven't quite got here yet, but uh, this is a little accountability mechanism. So I hope by the next time I'm presenting at an R Ladies event, I can talk 
about my experiences with learning how to schedule uh, markdown reports to build on a set schedule. So this would be really useful if you have daily, weekly, monthly reports that you need to build from a structured database. And perhaps the most powerful way to use uh, Markdown is for disseminating insights uh, in different formats. You can render a single uh, Markdown file to HTML, to PDF, to Word. And uh, that means that you can produce slide decks, you can create dashboards, eBooks, and websites. So a super powerful tool uh, to reproduce your analyses from start to finish and one that I use in my everyday work. I've included some links for people to follow up if they wish. And to get to those links, you can get to the slides here at this link, bit.ly bit forward slash JT underscore our ladies underscore 2020. So uh, click that link or visit that link uh, in your browser and you'll be able to uh, see the full slides and uh, also access all of these links as well. So that's it from me.